Hello everyone, this is CL, and I'm here for um, the weekly message of spirit to the Twin Flame Collective. Okay, um, so there will be no messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine and vice versa this week. Um, I was guided instead to do the spread. Um, and however, if you would like to find out what the message of your beloved is for you, you can always purchase a one question reading um, for the week. Okay, but anyway, so I'm using the inside spread for this one. And uh, on the top row, we have the message of spirit for twins who are still in separation and no contact. Okay, and the second row will be for twins that are in union. The third row are for twins that have not yet met their twin in the physical. Okay, whether or not they, they get in touch with each other in 5D. As long as they haven't met in the physical, that's the third row. And, um, as always, I've prayed over the cards and um, shuffled them and dealt them out. And at the bottom of the deck, see here, we have the Two of Cups, okay? It's a very nice card. Spirit's just telling us to that we must continue to work with each other and generate generate the love that unconditional love that we are ambassadors of and it's saying to rise above all this you see here there's a crab here and the crab is grabbing at the hearts of you know the the sort of bracelet that's intertwining the cord that's intertwining both these hands so we're being asked to rise above all those who are trying to either mute our light or those who would like to run interference in in this divine union okay see because here underlying that is the queen of cups very maternal nurturing and it is a progressive progressive thing so we're being asked to nurture our divine relationships this week well that's the underlying energy of the spread so basically I think they're going to give us messages on how to go about that so for the first role first card we have and these are for twins that are in separation and no contact here we have the seven of wands and in the seven of wands um, this is a card wherein you put your defenses up and it's we have this man here representing one of the twins that are in separation and no contact but he is staunchly guarding this doorway to and the doorway leads to you can see the universe behind him um, with that triangle that is emanating light from all angles so again these twins because the twins that are in separation and no contact it would seem that there are various um, other interests competing interests that would like to walk through that doorway as well or get in the way of this twin but this twin is staunchly guarding that so despite being in separation and no contact a lot of the twins um, are still in protective mode okay and this sort of came up at the last um, of the reading last week also the next card we have for them is the four of cups and in here the four of cups depicts a man 
that is still looking at this cup that has come from above in awe. So some of you are just wondering, number one, if it is really twin flame. Number two, will it be worth it waiting? Because this, the energy that this card brings is that a lot of you, um, and even me, part of the time last week, okay, had sort of um, a an exploratory moment wherein, is it a bird in the hand is worth more than two in the bush? those kinds of things so you're getting to explore terra mode perhaps because you're tired just wondering and some of this uh, the other energy I'm getting from this is some of you are just again keeping your eyes on the ball so to speak and knowing that even if the foliage here on the ground it's rather lush and there are even offers of love from other quarters be they exes be they old boyfriends or girlfriends or just new people that you that that have come into your life still very dedicated to the journey to their twin so keeping their focus there Okay, next card we have is the Justice card, which indicates that, because this indicates balance, and we'll see with the clarifying cards whether it's saying that balance is needed. Well, of course, since this is a general reading, um, those who are listening will be in various stages of their journey, those that fall into this group that... Um, still in separation and no contact and the message there is to balance okay and let's get cards for that okay. for the wands well let's open everything first for those in union okay here we have the eight of swords and the eight of swords is a card of feeling trapped it's like temporary paralysis feeling stuck um, because this woman she's bound there in the spider's web where also there are eight swords around her that she could easily um, take hold of or grasp because once she grasps either one of those swords and there's so many around her she can easily free herself from the webbing that she's tra trapped in. So this is saying that um, wait, uh, I'm being told to open the other cards first. Okay, next card we have is the page of coins, and the page of coins. If it is turned upright, this signifies simple beauty, truth, uh, especially when it comes to things that are material, okay, tangible things. We see this page very um, regal and dignified, however, but still young, okay, still young, meaning that for those who have just come into union, that's why this is still reversed. Um, it's as if um, the execution, okay, the nitty gritty of being union, they're still um, feeling their way through because you know. Um, when it comes to twins, just getting to the place where you meet and then you're of like minds and similar vibrational energy at that point in time, it's a challenge. But when you finally come into union, 
And this is the feedback that I've heard from other twins who are currently in union right now. It's not exactly a walk in the park. You're, um, it doesn't end there. Well, number one, because you're still supposed to continue your mission, your mission in ministering and to others uh, in the name of unconditional love and to be the ambassador of it. Okay, and number two, you still have to keep in step with your twin in order to reach that vibration. So it's quite complicated. This thing that we volunteered, <laughs> we volunteered to take, to be part of. And the third card for those twins in union is the King of Cups. And this is where the unconditional love energy comes in. But then we see here, because they are in union, the energy is quite mature. They've gone through um, the stages, the process, and they finally got into union. But then Spirit is also reminding them that this still has to continue. And that's what the twins that are in union are finding challenging, at least this week, Because for the longest time, okay, this has been something that is, this has been, um, how do you say it? Um, there's a word, okay, an aspiration that has been largely theoretical, okay. But again, like I said, the nitty gritty of it, the actual living with a person, the actual making compromises every day, um, or calibrating um, your life to suit each other's personalities, that's going to be a challenge. Because although you're twins, that at the very core of you, at the very base, um, you're made of the same stuff, okay, sort of. Um, when, when we finally get to the stage that you finally meet and decide to come into union, everything else that you've picked up on, especially on a 3D level, your personality, your choices, your preferences, because maybe the essential, the, the crux of it, yes, you do agree that you have to, that you are bound because of unconditional love for the planet, for your twin. But how do you execute that in real life? And that's what they're having difficulty with. But we will look at the other cards later on. Okay, and these messages are for the twins that have not yet met their twin in the physical or have had contact with her twin in the physical. Okay? First card we have for them is the Four of Wands. And this reminds me of um, one of the messages that, that, that um, one twin channeled last week. Okay? Uh, which said that sacred unions are being negotiated in the upper realms. So, this reminds me of that. Because here, if this star had not illuminated this landscape through the four crystals, you would see that in actuality, I mean, not really in actuality, but... Um, what would it would appear to be bleak not only bleak it's dry it's arid it's very it lacks moisture all you have there is heat and for life to be generated you need moisture water that's why civilizations have been thriving where rivers are at 
okay but see here when the star illuminates the four crystals that represent the stability okay because this is um this is the four of wands it represents stability establishing um formal structures okay you see here that the landscape is actually one that is very verdant abundant thriving and as I said, there is a river here that runs through it and a rainbow that um, that's there on the horizon. And there are trees, two big trees, little trees. So there, for those that have not yet um, met their twin in the physical, this is a card of assurance that in the upper realms um, that meeting is going to be negotiated is being negotiated rather and to take heart because although all you see right now is this part okay spirit is finding ways to make you see this part next card we have for them is the fool and the fool is the very beginning, at the very beginning of the tarot journey. And basically this is saying that there, there's a myriad of possibilities in front of you. Enjoy, go through the journey. Okay? So, there. We'll see what other messages come in later. And here, the last card is the sun in reverse. And, well, the sun in reverse, the reason why this card is still reverse is because you still haven't met yet in the physical to actually attract each other's energies in the physical. But it is reverse because you're already doing that energetically especially if you're communicating with them in 5D. Okay, so those are the messages, but let's look at... Um, okay, for the Seven of Wands. Actually, I shuffled this already, but let's give it a shuffle again. Okay. For the Seven of Wands, okay, that's pretty clear. And wait, let me get another card here first. Okay, well, okay, so, okay, here. Okay. So to clarify the Seven of Wands, and this is a card of, you know, um, putting up defenses, defending the union from those, basically, here, we have um, the whip and the broom, okay? And this is saying, Spirit is saying, um, because this is a strict and a harsh disciplinarian, so it's saying that you must be very um, discerning of who you let into your energetic space, who you let get under your skin, who you let influence you. <laughs> okay, and they're telling me, birds of the same feather flock together, and that's why Spirit is urging you to seek like-minded people, people who who have who exude an energy of peace of balance because those who don't will be one of those that are that are threatening threatening the the energetic state of the twin that is in separation or not in contact so be careful of whom you let in 
if you don't have a tribe or a other group of twin flames from whom you derive support, um, go look for them. And this is not to say because there's so many groups out there, they all have different energy signatures. If you stay on them long enough, you'll kind of get it. And there are various, um, if, if it was a visual, because I can just get this energetically and, you know, because I'm <clears throat> clairsentient, but you can see the rate, the vibratory rate of the group. And so Spirit is saying to do this with the people that you, you put around you, whom you interact with. Be very discerning, okay? Okay, next card. For those twins who are in separation and no contact. I guess the no contact would include those who have very sparse contact with their twins, okay? See, here we have a man. Let's get another card first, just so that I explain it all at once. Okay. And here, we have take the lead. So, this is a very heartwarming card to receive. Um, so apparently, those in separation for the masculine twins, who um, are in separation, now they realize it's import. See, and here we have a picture of a man in love. And because of that, spirit is, spirit is doing the assistance that we asked of them to awaken the divine masculines that are in this type of twin flame situation and take the lead because here they are wondering for the for the divine feminine they're holding the space keeping their focus on that and for the divine masculines um, they're saying now is the time better act in it okay um, and we see here this orange sphere, this yellow orange sphere. It's like fire, passion. So the universe is helping the divine masculines, lighting them up from the inside to take action. And that's very good news, okay? And the next card is the justice card. For the Justice card, okay, how nice, okay, here we have the two swans, and that's the love card in that deck, okay, see here, okay, and so to clarify this Justice card, so it seems to say that a lot of you, those who have who are in separation are now in balance within themselves okay they've they they've done the work to be able to balance their inner divine masculine and their divine the divine feminine within them and that is why that is why um there is this the energy is not so frazzled anymore because yes it's not a desperate energy anymore it's whether um, it's being in the energy of love there that whatever happens it's like these twins that are in separation no contact well at least a majority of them finally get what the journey is about that it's to generate love okay if before um a lot of the the wishes you put out to the universe that 
um, would include understated conditions, such as if he comes back, if he texts me, if he gets in touch, or something like that. But now, because you find balance, some of you don't even have to ask when it's going to happen. They only trust that it will happen at some point in time. And that indicates progress in your journey because you've taken out the that scarcity vibration, the lack vibration, and you've replaced it with something that's that it's already existing. You're just waiting for it to come forward. And when you're in that vibration, then you can generate love. Okay? And the advice of spirit is to nurture that energy because it's going to give you strength. It's going to give it's going to make life beautiful for you again. Because once you step into that energy, you're no longer in the vibration of heartache and loss. But you know that you are filled from within. You don't forget about your twin, but you respect the way that his individual journey or her individual journey is unfolding. And you hold space for that in love. Okay? So, there. Nice messages there. Now let's go to the twins that are in union, okay? Eight of Swords. Okay, we have a ship. And, okay, there. Ship. And here we have challenging times. And here, what this is saying is that the difficulty, the, you know, seeming paralysis, being blocked, not being able to move forward. Because, no, actually, Spirit just repeated what I said, that they're not able to move forward because of, of, um, this these material concerns that they have to reconcile because here here we have a man with a shield and he's wearing a suit um his clothing there is red which which signifies the root chakra which is also the chakra of self-preservation. Okay, and some of um, some of the twins that are in union, um, because it's a different modality already. Okay, we're in before. Yes, you were in union energetically. Um, but that was no problem. You'd go on with your own life. You'd go on with what you wanted to do. Um, and which, which largely defined what you, how you define yourself. See, but here, he's got his shield up because his self-preservation, he thinks that his, the identity it's sort of um, one of the twins, or either of the twins, or both of them, um, have are in a period wherein, because they're still establishing this, that they're not quite sure how to define themselves. And that's quite difficult, because in front of you is the other person who is the other half of your soul. Okay? But there are things that you don't agree on. And the things that you don't agree on, it's brought on by your individual journey. That's why his um, the halo surrounding him, which is yellow, which goes to the solar plexus, that's why it's, look at it, it's very dim. 
because it's like they're saying that whatever remains of my identity, they have to guard it. They feel the need to preserve themselves. So, again, spirit is urging to move, move, get out of that, that energy. Yes, it's difficult, but there's nothing to be afraid of there. It's just a matter of compromise and working the kinks out. And the page of coins... Okay, here we have abundance. Okay. Okay. Here we have abundance, clarifying the page of coins in reverse and the heart chakra. And again, this speaks to the practical matters in in that union and spirit is telling these twins because it's still in reverse it would be great if this was um, upright because it means it's going the right direction um, although it's a very young energy so those who are still trying to um, find their footing somewhat they're being advised that not to worry because you've already cleared this you know and that's why you're in union and but the abundance will come because you're working from there that's not confined to a specific career specific modality whatever you're doing if you're doing it with um, impeccability and integrity doors will open for you to let that abundance in Okay, to bring you abundance. So that's what Spirit is saying. So um, turn this card right side up for the twins. Don't get so frazzled because uh, how is this going to work? Okay, um, you want to be in union, you live in one country, I live in the other. Things will get worked out. You know, it's been a miracle that the universe has brought you two together. This is just one of the fine prints. So, don't sweat it. Okay? And we'll turn this right side up already, okay? Next card we have is the King of Cups. Okay. We have Fox and... Okay, dedicated effort. Okay, so Spirit is reminding those in union <clears throat> because here we have the card of the fox. And the fox is ever watchful, he's wily um, because you could even say cunning. But that doesn't apply in this reading. Okay. And all spirit is saying, and then we have dedicated effort. Okay. You see a man painting a couple. Uh, he's up on the scaffolding. And the card is red. So it pertains to, yes, because your union has already manifested. You can see in this row, lots of reds. Okay. So this is saying, this is reminding the twins in union to be ever watchful of the purpose and the reason of your union which is unconditional love that's why we have the fox here and again spirit is reminding those couples to continually put effort into that because union is not the end goal okay it's not the end goal that's why the work has to be continuous of course you're in a better place because you know the the pining isn't there anymore the pining for the physical at least is not there anymore um, but there's energetic work to be done and that's what spirit is reminding them to do okay now for the twins 
that have not yet met in the physical. Okay, here we have the scythe and okay. It says healing begins and you have the scythe and the scythe and this is what they're clarifying okay the four of wands and the scythe is urging twins who have not yet met their twin in the physical whose twin is incarnated by the way okay um, so it means that this is a tool for cutting away those that it's like pruning. You have to cut off things little by little so that the tree or the plant will grow more. Okay, And in this case, in agriculture, you need the scythe to cut the grass so that you can harvest the wheat. And that's what these twins are being asked to do because they're... they're Again, their union is being negotiated in the higher realms. And although it's not visible, because they haven't, some of them have, have an idea, I mean, in the energy realms, have been approached by their twin, or talking to their twin, but have yet to see them in the physical. Some of them are getting despondent getting to this state and that's what spirit is saying cut it because it's not healthy it's not conducive to manifesting your twin in the physical because if you continue to be pessimistic be negative thinking it's impossible okay um that won't help you and that's why spirit is also advising them to begin their healing on that score. To think in terms of, because some of them are thinking that, are being quite insecure in their place. Because, the, you know, there are a lot of twin flame materials, twin flame, again, groups where there are discussions, twin flame videos, and, and comments to those. And, and a lot of them are about twins who, who've met each other, who, you know, are waiting for them to come back. And some of them are getting to this insecure vibe that they're, they're not part of this whole thing. And Spirit is saying, cut that out, okay? Heal that way of thinking. Because if you part the curtains, if you peep beyond the curtains of all those things that you see on the, let's say, the front page or those groups or whatever, you're going to see that the heart that you carry is similar to the heart of the persons, the people that you're actually envying, okay? So cut that out. And next we have the Fool card. Fool card. Okay, so let's pick one from here. Okay, this is listen. So for the full card, okay, start beginning of the journey, we have the writer and listen. So, the writer brings messages and movement. We have this girl here riding a, um, the horse that you find on carousels. She's got a messenger bag, which has lots of messages in it. But she's on her way to deliver this message to a certain a particular person. And this is saying... This is just telling the twins that have not yet met their twin in the physical to listen to the messages that you're being given because they're going to lead you to find your twin. 
but this is sort of a double-edged message okay because if you don't listen closely if you don't develop your relationship with your higher self with your intuition to the point that you can understand and acknowledge when messages are being given to you then you're just going to go around and around like this horse on a carousel so there you're being advised to do that because the journey ahead your journey when you do meet that's that's a whole different journey it's a beginning it's an adventure it's like a choose your own adventure thing okay and for the Sun we have okay tower and trust okay here we said that I said earlier that um, some of them were getting into the energy some of these are the twins that have not yet met their twin in the physical and that's why the Sun is reversed but we're going to turn that over okay um, and spirit is saying that although it may seem daunting we have this tower here which represents institutions I'm sorry if you can hear my puppy <laughs> okay where was I um, there for those who have not yet met their twin in the physical that's why this is reversed okay um, spirit is saying although it may seem like an impossible task you have to trust trust in the universe because they're telling me they've got your back okay even if it seems daunting even if out of the seven or eight billion people on the planet you have to find your one the other half of your soul in the physical it seems like a daunting quest so to speak but if you approach this with full faith and trust in the universe along the way there are going to be signposts the signposts that you are being told to listen to because here this is a very physical structure and it's very beautiful and that's the visual that you are being given trust that this will be established this will be built and I'm reminded when I was in um, I think it was Florence Italy okay and we went we went to a cathedral and the baptistry a tour guide was talking about the baptistry doors I forget which which Renaissance artist um, built it it was carved very beautiful and then um, we were told that he worked on it for 25 years 25 years imagine that I was thinking that's his life's work just imagine that if anybody else was asking what he was doing at the time he's doing a door okay ten years later when there's a reunion what are you doing what are you up to now I'm still doing that door but look what turned out to be a door turned out to be a very magnificent door okay so anyway uh, spirit was just telling me to let you know that to keep your eye on the ball because although it may seem daunting if you take it step by step you're going to reach that tower okay so 
that's what I have for you this week. Again, there's the message for the, those twins who are um, in separation and no contact. Those twins that are in union and the twins that have not yet met their twin in the physical. I hope that this will help all of you in your journey. Um, and this is the insight spread, so if you'd like to get an insight reading, that's what you pick if you're thinking about getting a reading. Okay, so for personal readings, uh, just go to my website, it's below, and um, I, will be ha I will be having several new offerings soon. Um, because I was guided to do a light language transmission um, for those to ease the pain of separation for those twins that feel it deeply and um, yes there's another light language transmission for those who feel lost and isolated um, but I'll put up a video for that um, that will be one of the offerings so it will just be an introductory video. Anyway, for the month of January, I still have the boosters up. Um, get them while they're there. I'm sure you want to start the new year right. So I have a new year booster. I have the ascension booster and um, the protection booster. These All of these booster include specific divine codes. Um, that deliver quantum healing okay so it's not just like any other reiki because i incorporate that and you need to vibrate at a very high energy in order for those codes to work so um there see if you're interested in that thank you to everybody who's gotten reading sent me messages and um who's gotten the booster packages okay Thank you so much. So have a great week ahead and I'll see you soon. Bye.